We're at Books and Bits in Artesia, and we are speaking with what Nasreen Jafari. Nasreen Jafari. Um, we are interviewing you about the uh, Pioneer Boulevard project and the development of Artesia, and so thank you very much for being interviewed. But we want to ask you, first of all, um, how long have you been in this area or known about this area? Uh, actually, we've been here in business for over 15 years, but we know about the area for over 30 years. Yeah. And how did you know about it? It's just, uh, I think, uh, word of mouth of all the people who were interested in the Indian culture or they wanted, they were looking for the food or groceries, they would just come to this area. And, um, so you recognize this area as Little India? Um, sort of, yes. Okay, uh, when we think about other cultures, do you think of other kinds of like ethnicities around here, like the Portuguese? From the beginning we yeah. knew it used to be a Portuguese area and then later I found out from other people I met that it was actually a Dutch uh, dairy farms were here and then then the Portuguese came and now of course Indians. Uh, of course we have a very large uh, Chinese community very close by. We have lots of uh, people from Latins and they're very close in yes. Hawaiian gardens so it's a mix. <laughs> I'm trying not to jiggle the camera because I know. But I the have businesses a in this one strip, uh, they're more Indian. Just this one. And what is um, the best thing about this neighborhood? The best thing is I, I haven't seen it in many places. It's just uh, you see all families come here together for shopping. I don't know why. It's uh, like three generations: grandparents, parents, the kids. They come and they do the shopping. They walk around and. Sometimes they have different interests, like uh, some guys don't want to go to the boutiques, they'll go somewhere else. But it's very nice to see the whole family come out together. I don't see that a lot. That's a great point. Um, what is your favorite part of Pioneer Boulevard? My favorite one? It's been, I don't know, I just like the atmosphere. I like everything about it. All together, it's like Little India. Do you have a favorite restaurant? Uh, I hope I'm not biased. Uh, I like this Surti Farsan before we were neighbors. Uh, now we are neighbors, but I, I used to go there all the time. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your business, Books and Bits. Well, uh, when we opened this bookstore here 15 years ago, we, we used to come to this market anyway. So we checked and all of our friends also said that uh, there are no bookstores in this area. There were all kinds of uh, shops except a bookstore. And since they knew we are into books, my, my whole family, my father, my sisters, everybody, we were interested in books and we, did, we just like books a lot. So they suggested, why don't you start a bookstore? And we did. And um, who is your clientele? Anybody who's interested in Indian culture. Anyway, it's, uh, Indians themselves, uh, one of my best clients are kids. They just love the stores. They even come in and say, this is my favorite store. Because in this area, all the other stores, the boutiques and the restaurants, kids are not that interested. But when they come here, they find something that they're interested in and they enjoy it. Yeah, I noticed you have a great selection of children's books. Yes. <clears throat> really beautiful books, actually. Yes. Um, I wanted to also ask you... Um, about your history here. You mentioned 15 years of being in this yeah. site. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you have a diverse culture, you often have conflicts. Have you witnessed any conflicts in this area? Like after 9-11, maybe? Not really, no. I do know that many of my American friends, like even the people working in the postal office and every, all of them they would come and check on us and said are you guys okay are you guys okay and we kept on telling them yes we are fine and one thing that I noticed which is very interesting after 9-11 I sold more Islamic books because many Americans would come and say we are ignorant we don't know what this religion is do you have anything we can read about and that was very I mean it was very encouraging they really wanted to find out because they knew I had books of all religions. And they would come and buy the books and find out. That was very, it was a good thing that I saw after my name.